Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. The new iPhone 16 series comes with iOS 18 installed, and now iOS 18.1 has come out as well, giving us a first taste of what Apple intelligence is all about. So let's do a deep dive into the latest iPhone UI and see what's new and cool. We'll start off with the basics. The lock screen of the phone is customizable and contains your notification center as well as shortcuts on the bottom for the flashlight and camera. That's by default. You can replace those two shortcuts with your own custom ones or just disable them. Unlocking the phone takes you to the home screens which hold your apps and widgets. You can actually hide specific home screens if you want to keep things tidy or if you have for example a page full of games or apps that you'd like to keep out of sight. The leftmost home screen is the Today page. And the rightmost page is the App Library, where you can find all of your installed apps organized into categories. Widgets can be placed on any of the home screens or the Today page, and you can stack them. Optionally, they can rotate automatically. iOS 18 now supports icon customizations. You can enlarge the app icons and hide their names, choose an accent color for all icons, switch between light and dark themes, and more and you can now put an app icon anywhere you want on an empty home screen, even leaving blank space between them, something that was never possible for all these years. The control center has been revamped too. Now it supports multiple pages and offers a bunch of different toggles and widgets. Some of the toggles are expandable as before. And back again are different focus modes. These are group settings you can enable for different situations like work, driving, and gaming, and all of them are highly customizable. The dynamic island also behaves the same as before. The UI uses the spacer on the selfie cutout to display certain shortcuts and relevant info. Some specific apps have gotten revamped, like photos, TV, maps, journal, wallet, and more. The new Passwords app is the place for you to access your passwords, pass keys, Wi-Fi passwords, and verification codes, all in the same place. And there's a new game mode, which is on by default. It minimizes background activity during play sessions, and it improves responsiveness with game controllers and AirPods. Now let's talk about Apple's new AI features, which have gotten a lot of hype. This suite of features is called Apple Intelligence, and it's similar to what we've also seen from Google and Samsung. It's all made possible by the powerful hardware in the new iPhones. However, due to the alleged complexities of complying with privacy regulations, the Apple Intelligence features will only come to the European Union in April of 2025. Let's go over the AI features introduced by iOS 18.1, which you can use today. First off, Siri has gotten an upgrade. The screen glows when Siri is active, and she is smarter now. She's able to maintain context between requests, and understand you if you stumble over your words. Proofreading text is one of the major Apple intelligence features. It can clean up what you've written, and even rewrite it to shift the tone, while keeping the core ideas intact. There's also something called Smart Reply, these are quick one-tap responses to emails that you've been sent, and they have contextual options based on what's in the email. Smart Reply works for your text messages as well. Apple Intelligence can also make time-sensitive emails show up first, and make summarizations of your emails. Along the same lines, if you make a text transcription from recorded audio or a phone call, Apple Intelligence can summarize that as well. There's new AI functionality within the Photos app. For example, Natural Language Search allows you to describe what you're looking for in your gallery. You can create a memory movie with just a description of the topic. And there's also Clean Up, a feature that automatically detects unwanted objects in your photos and removes them. The last AI feature I'll mention here is a dedicated focus mode for reducing interruptions, which filters out less important notifications in a smarter way. And that's not all to expect from Apple Intelligence. Down the line, we'll get tools for AI image generation. You could even make your own emojis this way. There will be further upgrades to Siri and integration of ChatGPT. And visual intelligence will allow you to point the camera at something and get context-specific info. So there you have it. iOS 18 is much the same as what we've seen before from Apple, with some updated apps and customizations. But the AI features are something brand new. However, users of languages other than English will have to wait until April of next year to try them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.